Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing from Hollywood Park on Sunday afternoon, December the 11th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle in Southern California race of the day. Let's take a look at the race 8 featured this afternoon, folks, 4.07 p.m. Pacific Post Time. This is the Cat's Cradle Handicap, 7.5 furlongs on the cushion track, fillies and mares, 3 years old and up. Race for a stakes prize of some $80,000. Contenders number three, Tis Flirtatious, number eight, Salty Sarah, number two, Downhill Diva, and number nine, California Nectar. Number three, Tis Flirtatious, is undefeated in the two-race career to date, including a power run win in her last start. Jockey Joel Rosario was in her arms for that win 42 days ago at Santa Anita, producing a positive 310% profit in the process. Is back today here at Hollywood Park for a second ride running for back-to-back -back circle trips. Number eight, Salty Sarah, a six-to-one shot has hit the board in three of her last four, including back-to-back -back power run wins in her third and fourth races back. Race eight summary, number three, Tis Flirtatious, tops my contenders list this afternoon, which also includes number eight, Salty Sarah, number two, Downhill Diva, and number nine, California Nectar, three eight two nine in the eighth from Hollywood Park, the eighty thousand dollar cats cradle handicap. Bonus long shots, Hawthorne near Chicago, race seven. Entry number nine lost a count of six to one shot. A track master plus power pony qualifier takes a two level class drop. Nice overall speed for this six and a half for a long sprint. Parks racing, race eight, number three, Whoville, six to one in the morning line, qualifies as a power pony. Nice overall speed for this six furlong sprint. By the way, he's won three or four in his career to date, sprinting at today's distance. So from Hollywood Park in Southern California, as we wrap up another racing week, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.